Hello, this is Barbara with Cinco Ranch Branch Library. I'm here to demonstrate how to use one of our databases called the drivingtests.org. To get to our databases, you first have to go to our website. So look up www.fortbend.lib.tx.us. You'll get this type of a page. Go to the Research tab on this, on this gray ribbon, and you'll see Databases pops up. Click on Databases, and you'll get this, this introductory screen with some databases starting with the letter A. You could go to go two different ways. You could go in through the Ds for drivingtest.org, click on that, or if you know or if you will remember from this demonstration uh, that the drivingtest.org can be found through education, tutoring, and testing, you can go this way. You click on this, you hit apply, and you'll get the various databases for that requirement. And you scroll down until you see drivingtest.org. So you're going to view the resource. Uh, this is a free uh, database. You don't have to register um, for it. And it is actually good for a DMV practice test for either cars, motorcycle licenses, or commercial driver's licenses. So let's view the resource. So this one, like I said, you don't have to register an account for it. Thus, if you leave, it won't remember which tests you've already done. So you'll have to keep track of that yourself if you want to come back in various different time frames. But um, you start off with either deciding if you want a car test, a commercial driver's license test, or a motorcycle test. And then also has some helpful resources, which is the handbook and the Texas DMV frequently asked questions. There's also a Spanish version. So the tests come in through their easy levels, there are hard, and then there's um, roadsides, full, mini, and then there's a marathon. But let me explain these. So the practice tests start in with 40 questions each. The first one gives you questions 1 through 40, and you have allowed 12 mistakes to still pass. The next test are different questions, questions 41 through 80. Again, 12 mistakes are allowed to pass. But the next Practice test is 81 through 120, uh, then practice 4 is 120 to 160, practice 5, 161 to 200. Again, each of these you are allowed 12 mistakes to pass. If you get through these and you think you're pretty, pretty good and you have time, um, go to the easy marathon. Those are all 200 questions and you cannot make any mistakes to pass. But these are all repeats of what you've learned in the other tests. If you want something hard, uh, you could do the true-false road signs, road signs and situations, road signs mini, which is just 25 of the questions, like see how that, otherwise they had like 40 or 50 here in this case. Um, this one is all 151 road signs, all of these together. And then there's a hard marathon, which is 201 questions with zero mistakes. And then you have fines and limits, hardest marathon, and then there was also a Texas DMV exam simulator. So this is this is kind of like the real DMV test. Um, it mimics the experience that you get at the exam. So if you're trying to um, get your license, this is a good way to start after you've done all your all your training and on on road driving. Do these kind of tests because you'll be having this uh, um, a test a written test probably online now, but a written test to look at your knowledge on that. So here, for an instance, let's go through one of these tests. Um, practice test four. Let's let's just use this one. This is what it looks like. This calendar perhaps, um, notes your progress in all the forty questions. Um, if if you get the answer wrong, it'll be red, so you can keep track of how many you, you've gotten wrong. Uh, this gives you the question. It gives you the the potential answers, and then you just put in the answer that you think is right. And then at the bottom, well, let's see this one. Um, which, can you pass another vehicle on the right? Turn, no, try to change lanes. Ah. Okay, that one was right. So under Texas law, you can pass a vehicle on the right only if the vehicle is making or about to make a left turn, etc. So I got that one right. And we go to the next question. 
What does this sign mean? And so you go through, you, you pick an answer, and then it gives you the next question. Um, if you wanna, if you if you end up getting more than twelve mistakes, you can you can restart it and then start again the whole thing. This is kind of how this works. Uh, when you get done with that, you have choices of going through the other exams if you'd like. And again, if you want to end the session and come back at a later time, uh, without as you sign off, um, keep track of the various tests you've done because, like I said, if you don't, this one doesn't allow you to register for an account, so it won't keep track of what you've done. So this is a good, uh, a good helpful guide for young drivers who are looking to get their license or mature drivers who just want to refresh your course. And if you do have some time, it's actually very interesting to know what you don't know about driving, even though you've been driving for a while. So I hope you enjoy this database. Uh, please come back to Fort Bend County Libraries and look for more uh, database training sessions. Uh, we hope you enjoy what we offer for you. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.